Welcome to Fatima Today. Today. Our special guest is Bishop Archbishop John Barwell. Welcome again to our program. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we were talking in our previous program about uh, his uh, Ar His Excellency's uh, experience. He's grown up in a very poor village. His his parents were farmers, and they, uh, along with many other people like him, and he's gone from there to uh, join the the order of the SVD Fathers, uh, the Divine Word Fathers, and uh, from there becoming a provincial and from there to becoming bishop and uh, 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 um, coadjutor bishop and then bishop of the diocese and finally archbishop of the of the state of Arissa and uh, you're in a very uh, a unique position today because uh, Arissa was on the front page news about the persecution of Catholics and uh, uh, you can tell us what some of those things that happened there in in Arissa and why it happened, but more what, more importantly, what what the Catholics did about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a sad story for all of us and black story for the state of Orissa. And uh, this all began physically taking place in the year two thousand seven, and on the particular day that was Christmas. That particular year, I was coadjutor bishop of Raurkela. 2007 because 2006 I became bishop and uh, as it is today missionaries came and educated the people belonging to these tribals and Dalits who are the last and lost and least in the society. When the missionaries came uh, and uh, experienced this the poverty, the illiteracy and uh, the hygienic situation they Real and recognizing the urgency, they went established schools, hostels, and uh, healthcare centers and uh, developmental possibilities. And through these, tribals and Dalits came up in life. They got good education, they got good jobs, they built good houses, which were not appreciated because, especially the untouchables, Dalits, especially where I am now, Archbishop. 95 percentage of my Catholics belong to this Dalit and or untouchable group. And when missionaries help them, these people because of their education and good job and all did not continue their traditional work of serving all other groups. Because as Hindu caste system has four caste uh, groups, Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Sudras. These untouchables belong to this fourth category that is Sudras and they are supposed to help others, serve others and uh, they, other would be, they would become like the sweepers of the floor, uh, 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 the lowest jobs or, or the washing in the toilets exactly. or one of that, all of these things and so whatever the other people didn't want to work, they gave yeah. it to the Dalits to do. This is uh, their by birth, their yeah. work. And, and that is that is what uh, the Hindu system is that mm -hmm. uh, you you're put there, you stay there, and you do what we tell you. And it is divine plan that you have, you are born yeah. Shudras, or yeah. you are born untouchable. So mm -hmm. this was kind of thinking imposed. Yes. So when the missionaries helped them, they came up in life and gradually gave up this tradition. So we're talking about anywhere from say 50 to 100 years of the, mission, the Catholic missionaries uh, educating the yes. Dalits, uh, giving them health care, yes. making it possible for them to also teaching them hygiene yes. and things like that. Also then teaching the faith, faith. And, so, and, mm -hmm. and, and then giving they became... Making the love of God real. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so in turn, they started to learn uh, economic, they had got better jobs because they now had education and with the education they could, they could do the work that before was forbidden to, to them mm -hmm. to do. And also helped the, them to recognize and experience the dignity of human beings because yes. priests or mysteries never took, uh, looked anyone built down and all. Yes. In the church, all were considered children of God. Equal. Yes. So those were the great. So, but as a, re as a result of this development of the, the Dalits, the, the untouchables, the lowest case, mm -hmm. not, we, we don't touch you, we don't talk to you, you're just one of those, and we don't even have to respect you. Uh, you're just from there being learning to respect themselves, learning to respect uh, the, the love of God, and also growing in uh, economic uh, well-being, also in getting better jobs. Mm -hmm. Then the, there seemed to be a jealousy growing among the 
the, the other case is they, 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 they said if they keep growing like that, we won't have anybody to, to do all our, our lower work. Right. And that, uh, that is one reason for the persecution because and they wanted Christianity because Christianity is the one promoting love of God, equality, equality of all children of God. So they wanted and uh, so they created a kind of hatred campaign against missionaries and Christianity that promoted equality of the children of God and the love of God. See, this so, is very interesting that, about the equality. You know, the, the Freemasons talk about liberty, equality, and fraternity, but the true equality is what the Catholic Church teaches about all of us are children of God, all of us are created by God, all of us have a human dignity, whereas these people want to say, no, they're less important than we are, and so they do the dirty work and so forth. Whereas the, the, the gospel is that we must love our neighbor as ourselves. Our neighbor could be someone who's a president, could be someone who's a ditch digger, it doesn't matter. We must love our neighbor as ourself. We are, and so this is the true equality that, that God teaches. Mm -hmm. Of course, each of us, God gives us different gifts. Uh, you're an archbishop, uh, someone, I'm a priest, some other people are, uh, do other work. But we don't know, of course, how God looks upon them. If one is more loving of, of his neighbor, more loving of God, even though he has a low position, he's more important in God's eyes. Mm -hmm. but, but so there's, there's, a, there's difference of talents, difference of positions, but fundamentally we're all children of God and we have to be treated and treat each other as children mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. That's what, that what is right, yeah. And that's what missionaries promoted. And because of this, most many untouchables and tribals accepted the faith yeah. experienced the love of missionaries and through them love of God yes. which was not up light and hatred campaign was prom uh, promoted, promoted and uh, gradually fundamentalists and uh, radicals grew in size and number and the slogan they created is one nation one language one people one faith no other here it is Hindustan Hindus land. So there should be only Hindus, no other faith. So these people are creating division, missionaries are creating division and they are creating tensions between us, finish them, finish all the institutions. Finish them by meaning by Me killing them. Killing them or destroying yeah. Their, yeah, their, 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 their their homes, destroying uh, their, their churches, churches, destroying and their this. Uh, health And that's what was the program and uh, that's why already 2007 Christmas Day started and first thing they attacked because these tribals and Dalits also participate in business because they got, were educated and first thing 24th Christmas December 24th. 2007 they attacked the yeah. shops of the Christians. They, 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 they destroyed, they burnt Dis down burnt the, the, the shops. Of everything them. burnt. And they, this side is, is Christians, we burn those. Those ones are, are or Hindus, we don't burn those. No, so just, just because all the Christian in a particular started in a play parish called Bamuni Gaon, where Christian shops were closer to the church parish, and they attacked only the Christian shops and destroyed and burnt everything. Yes. And then, of course, it lasted few days, uh, and because there was a hue and cry all around the world, and uh, it was a Christmas time, so it stopped yes. after few days. The the, the authorities the the local state police or uh, came and stopped, stopped it. Stopped it. But at the same time, again, it started in a larger way, 2008, to, uh, 23rd of August. And the cause given was that one sannyasi named Lachmanananda Saraswati was killed on 23rd August evening. And the blame was given to us Christians, that Christians planned it and uh, killed him. This man, was a, he was a militant, he was a fundamentalist, he was one his who slogan was, was started I, the... Yeah, his yeah. slogan was, I will finish up these Christians. I, he was taking kind of lead. Yes. In the, he, is the, he was the one creating hatred campaign, yes. which our people knew, understood, but our people never kill. Our yes. people do not take into violence. Yes. We are peace-loving people and we will remain peace-loving people. But the, you mentioned that the Mayoists, that is the pe followers of Mayo in, in India, that is the, the com Maoist we call com underground, yeah. they would, uh, of course, they are people who preach violence and who want violence, who want to overthrow the government or overthrow the people to make them all communists. So, so and they, they actually took credit for killing this gentleman, this uh, person. This is what they accepted publicly and they said that they have killed. We are not the judge. Let the authorities discover who is the cul killer, culprit. Yeah. And why should we 
be blamed if we are if we are not killed yes. that is our stand yes. that if maoist claim to have killed let the authorities find out let the police and officials find out the culprit who really killed unknowingly without any proof and why should they blame the christians and start att attacking them this is our stand yes. and that what we wanted from the beginning that the killers the culprits should be discover found out yes. and we know that we have never killed and un unreasonably they attacked 23rd onwards they attacked us destroyed our property 97 persons they killed six more than 6000 houses were destroyed burnt and and uh, more than 340 churches convents institutions were destroyed in these days even 25th of august we had a pastoral center for the archdiocese where three priests and two nuns one nun is my own niece sister mina they were working there on 25th mob star came shouting bajrang wali ki jai hanuman ji ki jai christian logon ko bhagao in hindi and when priests and sisters nuns heard this slogan this shouting they escaped to the forest also like uh, early, they, when the people started coming villagers 60000 people had to escape to the forest to save their life and when this priests and nuns escaped to the forest they came destroyed burnt everything it lasted few hours couple of hours and uh, sister meena my own niece and uh, father thomas chelan returned to see the situation what it is how it is realizing that the situation is not uh safe they went to a hindu family uh, seeking for safety and as it is in india majority of the hindus great number of the hindus are very tolerant and very good people so so also this family they kept them they hid them locked them in a room but the mob realizing uh, that this priest and nun they have come back and they are hiding somewhere they discovered pulled them out from the room where they were hiding made them half naked bade them even tied them together and after some times made them walk in the street forced this father and sister to have the sexual relationship but this father and sister said do whatever you want on us but we will never have this relationship that is not our life that is not our vocation the bed but then still they did not spare this nun my niece sister mina they ganged raped her and they bed them bleeding and made them half naked they had to uh, walk on the street but today thanks be to god sister mina and father chelan both of them are safe happy fine and they have one word to say we love these people though they have done all these things we have forgiven them and my niece sister mina says uncle i offer all this suffering and pain for you and for your mission and we love them i love them these people and i am available ready to work but for their uh, change little getting out of the traumatic experience i have sent father thomas to the northeast and he is happy and he is working there and sister mina also working in the northeast little away from the place so that they recuperate and re, uh, reenergize even to yes. come back to the place and so they destroyed all this but gradually with the interventions of mother teresa especially sister suma the regional superior of uh, who stays next to my compound archbishop's house and uh, um, missionaries of charity sisters camps were held people started coming back returning back and then uh, gradually started building the house to make the story short small small houses and uh, on behalf of my people and uh, priests and religious i thank sincerely because i know whole world has prayed and i have received amount of generosity from people from all around the world including those of you watching and listening to my words thank you so much and surely god will bless you today we have built up much of it and people are back at home when i took over the responsibility of archbishop in this archdiocese first thing i came to rome met the holy father for my adlimina went back to the archdiocese visited all the parishes all the convents all the institutions met the priests religious met the leaders of my faithful and i could hear one voice powerful voice archbishop 
they destroyed us. Their slogan was to finish up the Christians from this part. Whatever they tried, they did it. They destroyed our property. They removed all this uh, and killed some of our beloved ones. But one thing they could not do is they could not separate us from Jesus and Jesus from us. That they could not succeed and they will never succeed us separating from Jesus and we thank God. And I am very proud to hear my people saying this. And whenever I am, most of the time I am in this part of my art crisis where this particular uh, persecution took place. That area is called Kandhamal, he, mountain he, full of mountains and hills. Most of the time I am that side. And uh, many of the people ask me, Archbishop, are you not scared? Are you not frightened? And my answer is, why should I be frightened if my people live there day in, day out? And if they are not frightened, why should be I be frightened? I, I am with my people and I will be with my people. And now when I celebrate and visit my people, my archdiocese, especially this area, I find so much of joy because large number of people participating in the celebrations, liturgical celebrations, Marian devotions and all this to demonstrate also that we are not frightened people, we, people God loves us. But occasionally we used to ask, my people used to ask why this suffering to us, last, least and lost of the society. But the answer we ourselves receive, find out that it is God who wanted, God wanted to be his representative, his uh, witnesses to other people of faith and though poor we are, it is God's uh, plan. So, we thank God. And uh, today, mo many of those who participated and uh, were leading the uh, mob, they are coming and saying, sorry, we never knew what is happening, how is happening, because always we are given drugs and drinks, we did not realize, that's why we did it. And uh, they ask forgiveness and my, my people, our people, Catholics and Christians, they say with one voice, we are forgiving people, even if we do not forget. We have forgiven all of you and we have forgiven, we will nothing, we will live together and we will build up a peaceful, joyful land for all of us. This is our slogan, which surprises the people. And this is our slogan and it will remain always that we are people of forgiveness, we are people of love and we will build up. Little more other story that uh, during these days, per, during uh, the persecution, Lots of the Christian houses, as I said, more than 6,000 houses were burnt and destroyed. In a large big village, one night, a big group of elephants came out from the jungle. And whatever houses were standing, they started destroying all these, these houses. And they happened to be all Hindu houses. So, people started saying, see now, elephants destroying our houses. They could be also Christian elephants, sincerely. I do not know whether Christian elephants or God's creation. I only believe they are God's creation. And though we do not speak out, but many of the leaders dying miraculously, though we do not speak out and we do not wish that all of them should die or we wish all of us should live and realizing the mistakes and the value of love, we should build up a peaceful land. But at the same time, I am happy to be Archbishop in this part and a first local Archbishop and I am seeing and experiencing the acceptance of the people. People now are proud, Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Isai, all of them that first local man has become Archbishop in the area and they are proud. I am also proud that I speak the language, I mix with the people, I am with the people and all are my people. When someone asks me, how many Catholics you have in your Archdiocese? I say, I have more than 11 million people Catholics in my Archdiocese. Because for me, not only Catholics, they are mine. All Hindu, Christian, Muslim, all are my people because I belong to them. And God is for all. So, I love all of them. I talk to all of them. I participate in their life. And I know they are my people. And they also accept me as their own. I thank God for all this experience and they are proud. I am also proud to be with my people. Now, it was quite something different from the first time in December 24th, 2007, the persecution lasted for about two days. No, and the last time, but this time it started. It was about two months in yes, August, yes, from April, excuse me, from August 23rd to about sometime in October. Yes. Uh, and the difference was the first time the authorities came 
almost immediately and uh, put a stop to uh, the... Whereas in the second time, they didn't come. Why did they not come the second time? Yeah, yeah. because although government same, it was a coalition government. And uh, quali one, one party was BJD, which is more or less a secular party. Second one was BJP, which is more of a fundamentalist party. So, because they were in coalition, no party could take any uh, uh, active role. Because the, the, the BJP were in agreement with the, with the fundamentals, fundamentals doing doing these things, so they yes, didn't yes. so they didn't want to persecute they, they didn't want to stop the persecution mm -hmm. because they would and the other party did not feel their hands were tied without the cooperation of the yeah, BJP. They will not be able to so, so form the government. But finally, was it the the public outcry that stopped it? Got the government to do yeah, or, the, or, or the world the over world over yes, there was a outcry and yeah. especially Sister Mina's rape case came up in the paper and everywhere in the so government had to take lead and uh, take do something and yes. uh, things are done. So in that time for those two months or so, then 93 Catholics were killed? 97, yeah. 97, 97 Catholics and, and how many churches? 350 ch ch Catholics? So yeah, more than 340. Uh, churches uh, exactly were around 60. So because we, we, the, all the churches were only Christian because mm -hmm. the, 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 the Hindus have temples, it's not yes, churches. Yes, mm -hmm. And then there are 6,000 houses of Christians as well, mm -hmm. uh, more than that, but 6,500. Yeah, yeah. But now, it's never been known before that the elephants came out of the forest and started trampling down houses. That's not happened to, I've not heard of it before. Has it ever happened to? Occasionally, elephants do destroy one or the other house. But here it was, what, because that particular moment I was not there, but then I heard and I, I know that I have, I have gone to the village also, and I pass that way every day when I'm, I'm going to that area. I pass that way, and I know that area. Yeah. So, since it happened large way, combined yeah. and elephants came in a group and destroyed. People thought it is yeah, Christian Hindu. It's very, very, very unusual. Very, very unusual. Yes. True, very unusual. Yes. But we don't want to make it a story that God is visibly with us. We know God is with us. Yeah. We don't want to just make it up a story, yes. visible story that God is visibly. But, seen. but it was. In, there was no. Christian house that was trampled down, no, only, no. only Hindu houses. Yes, it happened to be so because Christian houses were all destroyed. Yeah. Of course, now we have rebuilt the Christian houses in those areas as well, yes. that same village as well. Yes. So, uh, you mentioned also the the, uh, the forgiveness of the of the people. You, as you said, I think somewhere else that that the uh, tribals at least they know the jungle, they know the forest because that's where they came from to come to the city, and so. They, 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 they could have stopped and they could have fought against them, but they chose just to flee, not to have more, to have more deaths. So that they could have actually won battles because they know the forest much better than anybody else. And yet they... Mm -hmm. And uh, if we had reacted, yes. there would have been more death and more distraction from both sides. Yes. And uh, we do not, did not want to play a game of win, 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 win. We knew love wins. We knew God's power is with us. Though we suffer, yeah. one day God will take care of us. So we decided to run away. Of course, we were caught very unprepared, very unaware because we never knew. But yet, when there is no other way, even youth were prepared to take care, react, but we said no, we will not react. We'll protect ourselves rather than rather than challenging them. So that's why death and all this became less. Yeah. And uh, in uh, this part when there was uh, this group fire, fire burning, other all when I was that time I was in Raurkela, we had peace rallies and that let's say first Christmas time when there was attack, I myself together with my le leaders decided to show the solidarity Christmas will be very low key. Nobody would, will use new clothes and no meat and chick because normally villages and uh, these rural areas, feast is when the time when the meat is take, uh, eaten. Yeah. Other time mostly vegetables. 
but we said this Christmas because of the persecution no meat, no new clothes, no dancing, no singing and it was a very prayerful uh, celebration of 2007 and even many asked, phoned up to me business people or bishop why this. I said no because it is our brothers and sisters are suffering and even many of the people, other faith people also joined us in participating this. That was something wonderful. Very good, certainly. So it shows, of course, that uh, you know when when the plague was in Rome centuries ago, they had the religious leading them in procession and penance, and certainly the, the uh, one of the things we we never know. I mean, sometimes it's because God wants us to to offer our sufferings, certainly, but the other times it's because we need to do some penance, and of course it's helpful that we do penance voluntarily instead of suffering all these. So having those that penance of of abstaining from meat, especially on, a, on the feast day, f in a, because of the uh, persecution, no doubt it got, drew down God's blessing on, on, on you people, sure. but also the other people too. And especially, that's maybe why it's, it was also shortened for only two days. Um, I see that we're running out of time, but we, we'll talk again some more, uh, Your Excellency, and uh, tell us some of the uh, faith experiences, how you came to know about Fatima, we'll talk about that, mm -hmm. and, and uh, you, what we can do about that. Mm -hmm. Remember to pray the rosary every day. We, uh, Our Lady told us that, that there would be war and famine and persecution of the Church if we did not listen to her request. Our Lady came to prevent these things from happening, and we need to know more about the message of Fatima and pass it on to others. We need to, need to ourselves pray the rosary every day so that we can, and, and get others to pray the rosary. As Padre Pio said, pray the rosary and get others to pray the rosary. Pray the rosary so that we can stop the persecution of Catholics around the world. God bless you. We'll see you on another program. <laughs>